Hi, I'm Chuck Arney with the National Park Service here in the John H. Chafee Blackstone River Valley National Heritage Quarter. The quarter connects 24 cities and towns from Worcester, Massachusetts in the north to Providence, Rhode Island in the south. We tell the stories of American working men and women, innovators and entrepreneurs, the Blackstone River and its environment, and the many cultures that make the Blackstone River Valley such a rich place to illustrate America's journey to industrialization. So let's catch up with Ranger Kevin Kleiberg and hear just one of those stories. Hi, I'm Kevin Kleiberg, National Park Ranger with the John H. Chafee Blackstone River Valley National Heritage Corridor. In 1809, Providence merchants Brown and I decided to get into the textile manufacturing business, in part because the embargoes enacted by President Thomas Jefferson in 1807 prevented them from sending their merchant fleets around the world. The first place that they built was in Blackstone, Massachusetts, where the Blackstone Manufacturing Company was the second largest textile mill in operation in that time. However, they waited almost 25 years before they built their second mill operation down here at Lonsdale in Lincoln, Rhode Island. What took them so long, and what were they waiting for? Well, before they invested in some new textile mills, Brown and I were going to invest in some new infrastructure. In this case, the Blackstone Canal. They were one of the major investors in the Blackstone Canal Company, which between the years 1824 and 1828 built this new transportation system which allowed raw materials to be brought into these textile mills and then the finished goods to be brought back down to the Port of Providence where they could be sent all around the world, sometimes on ships run by Brown and Ives. And Blackstone Canal continued to serve Brown and Ives here at Lonsdale even after the canal itself shut down because this part of the trench was actually transformed into basically being a mill pond which fed water to the water wheels and turbines here, keeping the mills here in Lonsdale running up until the 1930s. 